Hi guys, welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm making Meat Lovers Pizza Casserole. Alright, I'm starting out here in my multi-pan. I have one pound of ground beef and one pound of ground sausage that I broke up and browned up. To that I'm going to add in, and I didn't drain off the grease because it really isn't a lot, and we're going to add flour to this. I'm going to add a quarter of a cup of flour. Now I'm going to turn my heat up a little bit. I have them low. And I'm going to stir in that flour. And this is going to help to thicken this up. Dexter's all charged up today because we're not having chicken. That's right, Dexter. It's pork and beef today on the on the menu. Pork and beef. Now to that I'm going to add in a cup of pepperoni that I cut up. And I'm going to stir that in there. I'm going to turn my heat up a little bit higher. I said I'm medium. I'm turning it up to uh, medium high. I'm going to add in about a teaspoon of Italian seasoning. And I'm going to add a 24 ounce jar of tomato, basil, and garlic sauce, pasta sauce. I'm going to stir this around and heat that sauce up. We want to warm that up. And guys, you can see why they call this meat lovers, because uh, there's a lot of meat in here. Three different varieties. Okay, now that that's starting to warm up, I'm going to add in some mo shredded mozzarella cheese. And I'm going to add in roughly two cups. And I'm eyeballing that. There's about one cup. Now these are loose cups. They're not packed cups of cheese. So your package will say 16 ounces, two cups, but you don't want to add that whole package in. You want to add this in loose. And I'm going to stir this together to combine the cheese in with the sauce and meat. Okay, now I took a 9 by 13 baking pan, sprayed it with some canola spray, and I spread it my meat and sauce mixture over to it. Now I'm going to take a little more mozzarella cheese and sprinkle it on top of the meat mixture. And you just want a light coating. Great, that's looking good. I'd say that's roughly about a half a cup of cheese. Now I have a, a tube of this refrigerated pizza dough here. I'm going to get this out of the can. And I'm going to unroll this. Guys, I don't know about you, but these uh, biscuits and stuff like this in the can, when it comes time to pop in that can, that's a little scary. Does that scare you? I'm going to take this dough and I'm going to lay it down here on top of the sauce and meat mixture. And you just want to cover that. And it don't have to be perfect, guys. Just cover that over. I see how nice that fits in that 9 by 13 baking dish. I'm going to take a little bit of olive oil. And drizzle it on there. And I'm going to take a brush and brush this around. And this is my version of a Ghetto Evo sprayer that you see on the QVC. You just want to smear that olive oil around there nice and even. And what this is going to do is it's going to give it a good Italian olive oil flavor and it's going to help brown up that crust. And I'd say that was probably a tablespoon and a half to two tablespoons of olive oil, not a whole lot. Now I'm going to take some shredded Parmesan cheese. I'm going to sprinkle some of that on top of our crust. And lastly, I'm going to put some Italian seasoning on top of that. 
Now I'm going to put this in a 425 degree oven for 20 to 25 minutes to bake until everything's heated through, melted, and the crust is nice and golden brown. All right, this just came out of the oven. It took 20 minutes. You can see how nice and golden brown it is. The cheese is all melted. Let's go ahead and fix up a plate and see what we got. Wait, let me get in here and give this a try, guys. Nice and cheesy. It's going to be hot. That's really good, guys. You get the cheese, the nice tomato basil sauce. You get all that meats in there. The crispiness of the crust. That's what it tastes like a deep dish pizza. It's really good. It wasn't hard at all. All right, there you have it. Meat Lovers Pizza Casserole. Give it a try. Thanks for watching. And until next time, I'll see you.